Record amounts of snow are still falling, and just watch. We have a time-lapse video of the snow piling up and piling up and continuing to pile up overnight in St. Louis. And it just keeps coming in parts of the country as roads are so slick, crashes and injuries have doubled from a year ago. Our extreme weather team tracking the mess on the roads tonight, and ABC's Gio Benitez starts us off. Across the Midwest, the drive is rough, and for these cars, the drive out is impossible. Cars, even snow plows, littering the sides of the interstates. It's not what spring should look like, and police can't keep up. Sergeant, ready to go. We rode along as uh, Indiana State Police Sergeant ago. Rich Myers showed us the spring, dangerous so, roads. You know, our winter has not been really bad at all. It's the spring that's killing us. As you're driving in Indiana, you see car after car just like this one. More than 120 incidents just in this part of the state alone. In Kansas, at least one dead. Police say they've seen twice as many accidents, more than 1,000 injuries there this winter, up from 500 last year, thanks to these late season snowstorms. And one dead in St. Louis, where they recorded the most snowfall on a March day ever. In neighboring Missouri, cars slipping and sliding. Here in the Midwest, where people are famously used to long, cold winters, even they've had enough. I'm ready for it to quit, though. I'm ready to see some green grass and flowers in spring. So as the Midwest begins picking up the pieces, the East Coast now braces for this menacing storm. The weather already starting to deteriorate in New York and D.C., Diane. All right, Gio, our thanks to you. And we love the pictures you have been sending us about this weariness of winter. A robin in a snowy tree and a family cat looking as fed up with it all as we are. And also, instead of a snowman, an Easter bunny made out of the snow. So what is next? Let's bring in ABC's chief weather editor, Sam Champion. Sam. Hey, good evening, Diane. And if everyone is winter weary, there's a really good reason for it. We've had 29 snow events in New York City so far this winter, 32 in places like St. Louis. Indianapolis has had more than 50 days of snow in the winter season into the first part of spring. And this is what this storm did. Went from Denver to D.C., even to Delaware with a line of snow and heavy accumulating snow in central Illinois. If you're looking for spring, it's not tomorrow morning. We've got a little bit of delay on that. Look at the big dip in the jet stream behind Behind this exiting low on the system, this is plenty of cold air. Early morning temperatures in the teens and 20s in the northern line, 20 near 30 in southern sections. And here's the high temperatures tomorrow. Still, we have this jet stream pattern that keeps the 30s and 40s for most of the country for high temperatures tomorrow. But wait, don't turn off the TV yet because spring is coming, Diane. It may be the end of the week. Watch this big push of warm air that gets us into the 50s and 60s for most of the country by the end of the week. The jet stream finally finally returns to its normal position for this time of year, and that's going to be good news for everyone who is winter weary, Diane. Okay, thank you so much, Sam.